What exactly is the difference between the new GPT 3.5 16K turbo mode and GPT-4? That's exactly what we'll be going over in today's video. There's a couple of notable differences. First off, we have cost, then we have token length, parameters, power slash steerability, chat GPT interface, and lastly, we have the plugins and web surfing integration. So we'll be going over every single one of these in today's video. So if you need a refresher, or if you're a little bit unclear as to what the difference is, that is exactly what we'll be explaining. Let's start by taking a look at the cost differences between these two models. As most of you already know, GPT-4 is the most powerful, but it's the most expensive model by OpenAI. The current cost is 0.03, or three cent for 1000 tokens, which is 750 words. And that is for input. So essentially, if we're inputting any prompts or any text into the 8K model, which is what most people have available right now, most people do not have the 32K model, then you have to pay three cent for every 750 words that you enter. And you'd have to pay 0.06 or six cent for every 750 words you get completed by the AI. So the main difference is the inputs are going to be the prompts that you put into the AI, and the outputs is going to be the text that you get outputted from the prompts that you get back so you pay a little bit more for your outputs when using gpt4 now with the new gpt 3.5 16k turbo model they have increased the price um, a little bit because you have a lot more memory and token utilization within this model so gpt 3.5 turbo 16k offers four times the content length of gpt 3.5 which is the older model and it also offers twice the content length compared to gpt4 because gpt4 is 8k um, tokens while gpt 3.5 5 turbo is 16k the price is 0 0.003 per 1000 tokens which is 750 words and 0 0.004 for 1k tokens which again is 750 words so essentially gpt 3.5 turbo 16k model is half the pricing of gpt4 so you're paying 50 percent less for um, your input text from uh, if you're using gpt 3.5 turbo 16k and your output is also much more less expensive because you're paying 0.004 per 1000 or 750 words of output when using the new gpt5 turbo mode so in terms of costs you're paying 50 percent less but you're also getting um double times the content length when using gpt 3.5 turbo mode so you're able to get a lot more inputs and outputs for half of the cost when using GPT 3.5 Turbo compared to GPT 4. So in terms of token length or memory for GPT 4, as I mentioned, it's 8K. So that allows you to get 6,000 words of token memory. And then for the GPT 3.5 16K model, you get about 12,000 words to work with. So you can have 12,000 words of completion or you can have 12,000 words divided between your input and your output. So again, you get a lot more token length utilization with GPT 3.5. So that's it for cost and token length. Now let's talk about the parameters. Now parameters essentially means the type of data or the amount of data that each one of these large language models such as GPT-4 or GPT-5 were trained on. OpenAI doesn't give you the exact numbers of parameters that they use in GPT-4, but just from the findings and just from using the actual GPT-4 model, you can tell that it's been trained on a lot more parameters compared to GPT-3.5. Now that may have changed because with this GPT-3.5 um, Turbo 16K, they did mention that they have improved the steerability and improved the overall overall um, quality of the AI content or the AI model. So, so the new GPT 3.5 Turbo 16K was probably trained on more parameters, but as of right now, we can definitely say that GPT-4 has been trained on much more parameters compared to GPT-3.5. There's some numbers floating around that GPT-3 has been trained with 175 billion parameters, while GPT-4 has been trained on about 100 trillion parameters. But I would probably guess that GPT-3.5 has been trained on more, while GPT-4 is probably within that same um, bracket there. So in terms of parameters, GPT-4 has been trained on more. Um, parameters while GPT 3.5 has been trained on less, which is why you're able to get much more nuance and much more uh, intuitive answers when using GPT 4. As I mentioned earlier, GPT 4 has always had more steerability because it's been trained on more parameters, so it understands context from a variety of different topics and can put that all together to give you much more customizable and um, 
um, in-depth outputs compared to GPT 3.5. But in this new update of Turbo, again, we see that um, OpenAI has said that they've increased steerability with GPT 3.5. But I would still say that GPT 4 has more steerability. It provides more control over its responses um, using personalities that you pick. So again, you're able to steer the AI in the direction that you like it to go much easier with GPT 4 compared to GPT 3.5. But it is good to note that they have improved the steerability in the new GPT 3.5 model. So now let's talk about the differences between GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 16K when it comes to the chat GPT interface, plugins, and the web surfing integration. So even if you're a chat GPT Plus member, you only have access to GPT-3.5 and GPT-4. So they do not have the 16K model as yet available on the chat GPT interface. You need to apply for the GPT-3.5 um, um, API, and then you can use it in the playground mode. I'll leave a link in the description below this video if you would like to apply for the API for yourself. So right now you are unable to have um, plugins, so you're not able to use any of the plugins with the GPT-3.5 model, and you're also not not able to browse the live web using Bing um, as you're able to do with GPT-4. So currently those features are not included, but I do think in the near future, they will include the 16K GPT 3.5 model on the chat GPT interface, and you can use it with the plugins and the browsing features. So those are some of the main differences between GPT 3.5 Turbo 16K model and the GPT-4 model. I hope that that brought some clarity and some value to you. If it did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.